We all know that a trunk link is used to carry multiple VLANs data between the network switches. But let's see how it works if we don't have the trunk link. So be with me till the end of this video to learn more about the trunk link. We all know that trunk link is used for carrying multiple VLANs data between the network switches. But let's see how it works. In the following network infrastructure, we have three VLANs. VLAN 10, 20 and 30. The devices connected on both switches are in different VLANs. Now, if we would like to create a connection between VLAN 10 devices, that are connected in two different switches then we should connect both switches with a link and assign that link into VLAN 10. Thereafter, VLAN 10 devices are able to send and receive data. The same for VLAN 20 and 30. We must use a separate cable between the switches for having connection between the devices that are connected within different switches. Now the question is, what happens if we have 10 VLANs? Do we need 10 extra connection between the switches? Or do we need one cable connection between the switches per VLAN? The answer is big no. We don't need one extra cable or connection between the switches per VLAN. We only need one link as a trunk link between the switches that will be able to carry out all VLANs data between the switches. For the trunk link configuration, open the switch, go to the CLI mode, enter to the configuration mode, into that interface that is connected with other switch or the interface that we would like to configure as a trunk, type the switch port motor trunk and the next command is switch port trunk allow VLAN 10, 20 and 30. It means through this interface we will be able to carry out these three VLAN data. Thank you so much for watching this video and please subscribe the channel and like the video for supporting me to prepare more advanced videos.